All right, so when creating a beat, the first thing I like to start off with is usually the piano. So let's go ahead and lay down some notes. I'm actually gonna take out a synth. So I'm gonna go with Electro X. And I'm just gonna go to uh, one of Nier's preset banks and let's see what I can find. I'm gonna go with a bell. I'm just gonna go ahead and take out uh I'm using a MIDI file, so I'm gonna go to uh I'm gonna go to Lorena's voltage MIDI kit and I'm just gonna drag one out and see what I'm gonna go with. Oh, I really like that one. So uh it's literally the first MIDI I just picked. So um from here. I'm just going to simply just lay down some drums and if I need any more sound selection, I'll just go ahead and add as I go. So I'm just going to browse through these kits now. Uh, sometimes the hi-hats do that or any sound for some reason when you switch it the timing will get messed off So just bring down the timing. It'll go back to normal just In case you didn't know So I'm just laying down the claps now Pretty sure you guys already know how to do all these parts. So I'm not going to get into specific details with this. And I'm just browsing through the mini kits that I have. If you guys haven't checked out my mini kits, uh, the mini kits pretty much just contain um, a, a mini drum kit and Omnisphere preset bank with a couple of uh, samples. And I got a few up so far. Alright, so when I get into the 808, I just go using the bass root notes uh, or the bass notes from the melody. So usually just the bottom notes. And you see I just copied all the bottom notes. Um, in order to see the ghost channels from, or the ghost melodies from your other channels, all you have to do is push Alt-V. And I'm just going to disable it now because I don't need it. And I'm going to bring it up one octave. You guys see I just put it up and down. That's just by pushing control up and control down. That way it just keep, stays in the same key, just different octaves. After that, I just copy the 808 and paste it onto the kick. And from here, I just push Alt-K. If you guys don't see that all your notes go to uh, one key, that's because you probably have more enabled. And all you have to do is just click and drag it down to the note that you want and make sure that's the only highlighted note. Uh, for the kick, I'm just going to keep it at C5 just because that's where it should be at, just neutral. Also, one thing I do like to do when I'm creating like beats like this because this kind of sounds like an Uzi Vert type beat. Uh, I didn't really know what I was going to get into when I was creating this but since it does sound like an Uzi Vert beat I'm just going to title it that but anyway uh, once I get to this part um, when I'm like adding more sounds I like to add this to gross beat and re uh, have it get reversed and I don't really like to um, reverse it on Edison because it reverses the whole entire track or sample rather than uh, reversing just those little parts and it'll just get off key. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna open up Gross Beat. Uh, let me see where it's at. It's on miscellaneous Gross Beat. And um, 
you go to momentary if you want and just go to reverse or you guys can just bring the dot all the way down so from here i'm just gonna go ahead and add edison down here as well so let's go ahead and pop it out and we're gonna go to record on play make sure that it is on play or else it's not going to be synced and you really do want everything to be on cue. I'm going to push stop because it's on the middle. So let's go and do that. And now I'm push play. And oh, before I push play, you're going to notice that the first bar is not going to show. But it's fine. We'll fix it after. Let's push play now. Okay, all right, so now to make sure that everything's on point, all you have to do is click on free, but just know that once you click on free, it's gonna stay synced to 145 BPM. So if you move this, this is gonna stay at 145 BPM still, and all these little lines are not gonna be on point. So just know that. But anyway, you guys see where it starts right here. So that's pretty much where it starts. So what we're gonna do is grab the song jump and we're just gonna slide it over. And make sure that you do have some out here because you're gonna need some room. That's the reason why I let it play out for a little bit. Once you do that, you can just press one. And what that's gonna do is make you just snap onto all these little grids. Push control X easily just to delete. Or you guys can just push delete. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that too. I'm gonna delete uh, song jump just by right clicking on it and clicking delete. And from here, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and loop it. So just follow along as I do all this. Set loop and let's drag it out to the playlist and see how it sounds. No, that's not where it's at. Oh yeah, I gotta disable the uh, reverse also. So the reason why I reversed it with uh, gross beat is because when I reverse it, it'll reverse this section here and then it'll reverse this section here. And it just keeps doing that, reversing the sections for me. So everything will stay in the positions it was at before I took it out in reverse. If I were to record on Edison, it would reverse starting from here all the way to the beginning. And that's not what I want. I want it to stay where it was at, but just have it play normally. All right, that sounds cool just being dropped. All right, so I'm just going to name it um, just a reverse bell, I guess. And we haven't even started with the sound selection either, so we still got a lot to do. But anyway, since I already cloned Electro X right here, and I don't need the cloned no more, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and change the... Uh, I'm just going to change the preset and see what else we can find. So let's go through more of Nier's presets. While I'm listening to it, I'm just going to go ahead and edit the hi-hats. I'm starting to get some black, so I'm just going to disable this one. Um, some of that... Uh, you guys can hear it clipping, so if I want the sound, I will record it in Edison, but right now I'm just testing it out. So right now I'm just gonna play this one.
All right. Um, I guess let's bring in some music theory and just, I guess, bring out an open hat. And uh, I guess we're almost done. Uh, just try to keep it simple and don't even try to go all extra. So uh, this was a really quick beat. And after this, I'm just going to go ahead and mix it down real quick. I'm not even sure if I have my mixer presets on this. So you guys just might see me mix right now. I'm just gonna get rid of some of the uh, low end that's on this, so I'm just gonna go to uh, the high pass. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, um, we gotta have some beasts, some beasts, man. Alright, from right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the, uh, what is it called again? Um, I think it's the Moog Growler base. Nah, I'm just gonna type in Growler. I know, I know some of you guys already know exactly what I'm talking about. What the, am I not, oh, I didn't spell it right. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Maybe, I'm not seeing it right. Where is it at? Here, here it is, Growler Moog base. I'm not sure why it didn't pop up. I can't really see my this atmosphere. It might look big to you guys, but my this 13 inch laptop being spaced from my mic too, it's kind of like hard to see. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the 808 and just paste it onto the atmosphere, just cause um, they pretty much share the same uh, notes. And I'm just gonna delete any of the run on notes, and then I'm gonna push Alt L and bring down one octave, control down as I was saying earlier. Okay, one thing about the Growler Moog bass is uh, I don't really like, um, I uh, think is this sound? Yeah, we're going to take off A and for the cutoff, I'm just going to bring up the envelope actually just a bit. A little techno-ish. Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, the last thing I'm just going to do is just organize this just so it looks nice. Um, organizing is just optional. You really don't need to do this. Uh, the artist is not going to care. Nobody's going to care. But I just like to open up the projects and having it look nice and organized just the way it is. So uh, now after this, I'm just going to go ahead and color them. Gradient. I really need to remember the shortcut for this. So easy. Alright, so I got the blue. Blue to purple maybe. Because I mean it's Uzi. Yeah, it looks nice, a little spacious. All right, so now that I have this, I'm just going to push Control shift l and put them all here. And I'm just going to disable whatever I did have on. Oh, I should have named these. Uh, okay, let me just name them quick. All right, we got the beast looking good. We got the bell synth, the bell, the reverse bell. And now we just got to name them up here now. So, all right, so from right here, I'm just going to go ahead and just bring them all down. And let's go ahead and just quickly mix. I really hope this does not crash. I haven't made a beat on my laptop in a while. 
All right, so I'm just going to put 250. I just like to keep the, uh, get rid of the lows on pads, like around 250. I'm just going to bring up the highs. If you guys are following along with this, I suggest you guys start saving your own presets too. Or else you're just going to end up buying presets like, you know, everybody else. I have a preset pack that I sell called my Studio Plug Official Mixing and Mastering Pack. And you'd be surprised how much that thing has been selling ever since I released it two years ago. So, if you guys don't want to rely on this stuff and just create your own presets, um... You guys can go ahead and save your own presets, or you guys can buy my preset bank. It's all on you guys. I'm not forcing anything. I'm actually going to bring a little bit more bass to this uh, right here. So I'm just going to leave this to like a 12, and then I'll bring this down to like maybe uh 145. Uh, you already know I gotta do something with the hi-hats, and that is to push uh, R. Make sure you turn off the pattern, and just leave the levels on, and for the velocity, I'm just gonna leave it the same, just because I don't want them, uh, I, I want all of them to be heard. So, the only thing I am gonna change is the panning, so it's kind of like more, um, surround sound. I'm actually just gonna leave it right there, it already sounds cool. So, uh, the next thing I like to do with my hi-hats is just add a little bit of reverb, not too much. So, let's go to the fruity reverb. And I'm just going to bring up the hi-hat, uh, the hi-cut. I'm already thinking about hi-hat. Uh, bring up the dryness. And I'll, I'll say bring up the size, even though it's a small little sound. Uh, I just like to give it a little bit more room. And I'm just going to separate it uh, just a bit as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's get rid of a little bit more of the wetness. I'll say like around 10. Just so it just has a little bit. And then I'm just going to start uh, bringing everything else up. I'm actually just gonna add my uh my master preset. I actually do have my presets on here, my mixer packs. Um, so yeah. All right. So now that I have that on, it's just gonna boost everything. Um, you guys can go ahead and check out my mixing and mastering video if you guys don't like that I'm doing this. But I mean, I'm just showing you guys how to make the beat anyway. Alright, so 
So um, let's go ahead and split by channel and just wrap this up. Control B to just duplicate, uh, just so I can just get this done with. So I'm gonna delete uh, the reverse bell and probably start off with just a bell. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, comment, subscribe, and give me some feedback, and let me know what you guys like to see next. If you guys enjoyed the kits, make sure to go ahead and check out L Lorena's newest MIDI kit that dropped at Studio Plug, and also go ahead and check out Nier's uh, Electrax preset banks. Um, all of them are great. Um, I enjoy using those sounds all the time. And if you guys enjoyed the kit that I used, go ahead and check out the mini kits. They're, uh, they're, they're inexpensive. They're not expensive as the other ones. Um, I just made them um, to be just a little bit more affordable. But yeah. Um, but anyway, that is it for this video. I'm going to let the beat play out now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.